Well, have you ever wanted to remove the inner fender liner on your Jeep Commander? And you get down there and you start looking at it and you're like, how the heck do these stupid things come out? Well, I'm going to show you. They don't. Now, I don't know why you would be removing that inner fender liner. Maybe you're trying to get easier access to the starter or as in my situation, we're doing a ton of work on this engine. So we need to get the motor mounts out of this and we need to get down to it. So I found that it would be easier to get to the motor mounts, possibly if I take off this inner fender liner. So to be successful at removing the inner fender liner and the trim piece, you're going to need a 1 8 drill bit and a drill and a push pin puller or a flathead screwdriver, a cloth to put over the edges so you don't hurt the paint. And you're going to need the push pins to be able to reinstall this because some of them are going to break. I haven't got mine yet, but later in the video, I tell you about where to get them and how I got mine. So, my name's Clay with Clayway here in Muskegon, Michigan. And if this video is helpful, please consider subscribing, clicking the notifications, sharing my videos, and giving me them sweet old thumbs up. And if you want to contribute to the channel, you can do it in several ways. One, you could buy something down in our merch store. We have some really neat stuff that lets you be the first of you and not the next of them. You can donate to us, or if you're broke, just like this guy, you can open up your computer at nighttime, put on one of the Clayway Sweet playlists, and let them play from front to back. Dang, I almost forgot. If you've got a question for me and it's automotive related and not baby mama drama stuff, you can look me up on Clay's AC and Auto Repair on the Facebook Messenger. I answer them for absolutely free. And we don't collect information, so you have nothing to worry about. I just want to help you fix your ride, keep a little bit of money in your pocket. Remember, if anyone else can do it, I promise you, you can do it too. Now, before you start this job, you need to take a look at the interwebs because you can remove this without removing that. You can replace the rivets in there, but I'm going to choose not to. I've ordered the kit that has the rivets, but... You may not want to go that direction. You may want to keep it just a little bit cheaper. More than likely, you're either going to have to order these, a couple of these, which are them down there, or you're going to have to order the rivets. There is a possibility that you could use pushies to hold these together. So if you have some of them in the garage, take it apart, see what you need before you start ordering stuff. So most things on vehicles are held together by clips similar to this. And just to fix down inside the holes, like this bumper cover trim piece. So every single one of these is supposed to have a clip in it. And the clips look like this. And as you can tell by looking down at this, mine got all them broken off. We have to remove this in order to remove the inner fender liner, unless we were to drill out all of these plastic pushies. Now in my situation, I don't want to drill them out and have to replace them. So we're going to start removing this by simply taking a screwdriver and a rag and we could pop out on this one. Luckily for me, I could get my fingers back there and I start popping. Now I want to start on one edge and work my way over. doesn't really matter if I started on that edge or this edge. I also want to make sure that there's no pushies on the inside of here. I don't see any, but I'm really surprised that there's not. But that might be because this came off before. I can see one right down inside here. And I'll show you how to take that one out first. Then we should have had one up inside here. Which are, and probably one up inside here as well. It's obviously been taken apart before. If yours has never been removed, you're going to have a couple rivets that you're going to need to drill out with the 1 8 drill bit. And then be able to remove them. These will help a lot taking either this off or this off here. These are push pen removers. And how they work is we get up underneath there and we can squeeze them a little bit, which allows the pen to come out. And then we can pull the pen out. Now, sometimes just the bottom part comes out. Both pieces came out that time. And if the pinnel part only comes out, just use your pliers and pull the back part out as well. There is also supposed to be located a push pin right here that's missing as well. Okay, so if we wanted to get up underneath there, we quite simply work this around and we can use the cloth to make sure we don't damage the material so we don't scratch the paint. 
Now down here on this one, we've got one that's sticking on us and it's right behind here. We can pull this back a little bit and we can see it. So we'll go ahead and get that up underneath there. So I've got that worked up underneath the legs of there. And I'm gonna hopefully just push that thing out. Probably need two arms to pull it as I push it. I'm gonna certainly try to pull backwards and to me towards myself to be able to pop that out of there. Then that way I don't press up against any of the metal and damage the paint. So now I'm gonna pull that away and these tabs have broken, not all of them, but a few of them broken. I've already went to the dealership the last time I did this and got me another set of tabs. So you may find that that'll be necessary for you as well. I also want you to pay attention to how this fits inside here. This sits on the lip down inside here and meshes together with the front bumper. So it looks like I'm going to be replacing a few of these, which really sucks. Now, if we look down here, we can see that these are actual plastic rivets and they're not intended to be removed, whereas in these are. But sometimes when you're removing these, you're obviously going to have some breakage. Now, these quite simply have two little tabs right here that hold them up in there. You can simply remove them and you can reinstall them the same way. So there you go. Now there's one of them rivets connected to this plastic trim piece on the bottom of here. And this trim piece comes off as well. It's one of them things you could either cut this rivet off and go without it or you can remove this trim piece as well, but it's more than likely connected back here. So eventually we're gonna end up having to cut it. Be much simpler for me to get a pushy for this piece. And because I can get my hand up underneath there to affix the two together, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this one off of here. Maybe cutting it closer would probably work a little bit better. You think Clay? And as you can see, we're gonna end up headed down to the Chrysler dealership. There's a couple of these that are broken. Gonna have to count them up and get enough to replace them. If you do this when it's extremely cold outside, um, you're gonna have a greater likelihood that these are gonna snap off. So make sure the vehicle is in a warm place unless you wanna be spending a bunch of money. I remember the last time I bought these for the other fender cover, it was about $40 from the dealership. Now they might be available online, but I haven't searched them out. But I think I'm gonna for 40 bucks. So I went to Amazon and I found this kit, which seems to be handy. You can also buy 10 of these at a time because if you're not working on this all the time, you don't need this. You're also gonna need the riveter tool if you end up planning on using rivets for the inner fender liner that connect them to there. So I'm going to go ahead and buy that because I actually could see how this would be useful for me. So hopefully that video ended up helping you folks and you were able to get that fender liner out or take off that trim piece off the outside of your fender. If it was, please consider subscribing, clicking the notification, sharing my videos, give me them sweet old thumbs up. If you've got a question for me, you can hit me up on Clay's AC and Auto Repair on the Facebook Messenger. I certainly try to help everyone that I possibly can. I can't help you with that baby mama drama, but I may be able to help you fix your car. Remember, don't be the next to them. Be the first of you, and if anyone else can do it, I promise you, you can do it too. Check out our merch store. Donate to our channel so we can keep making videos like this to help you folks out and other folks across the world. God bless and have the best of days.